Well, this is Low Whisper here, and uh, we're with the game Miss Survival. You know, I played this game for a lot of hours back when the game was fresh and new and uh, kind of uh, stopped playing, got kind of boring, so uh, kind of put it on the back burner, and they've uh, since uh, done some updates, some changes, added things. So I was going to, in this episode one of Miss Survival, going to jump right into it and kind of see what's new and uh, what looks the same as uh, when I have played it last about, I don't know, 14 months ago, I think. Well, this is how you're always going to start. You're going to get these uh, little tips and tricks will pop up. You hit I, goes to your inventory. You can see you got 12 slots open. There's a bunch closed off to you. Every time you find a backpack, uh, hit F on that backpack and you'll open up two slots. You see you have basic craft over here as you uh, gather things and you can begin to make things. Uh, your harvesting, your status, equipment, which we have none right now. So, um, key items, your health, hunger, thirst, fatigue, and stamina. Cold, uh, never before you didn't have to worry about the reason to did that or anything. But you hit the B button, you go to structure and build, and then you have some other things you can build. Uh, for your, these are mostly base related. As always, uh, W, S for moving forward and backward, A, D, to go side to side. So. Um, we're right here, and there doesn't really look like anything there, so here's one of those backpacks. We'll hit F here. Uh, make a can, a gas can, as soon as you can, or if you find one. When you find these old uh, broken down vehicles, pop that can in, fill the can, uh, start collecting fuel. So that way when you get a car all ready to go, You've already uh, got some gasoline. Uh, got us an axe. That's always nice to start out in the beginning. Uh, you cut a lot of trees and that kind of thing. So uh, we're just going to run over here. You want to make sure you keep an eye on your stamina down there in the lower left. You don't uh, use it all up. I always check the top of these campers. Uh, here's why. There you go. Boom. And some more shotgun shells. Um, so always jump on top. And, uh, I guess uh, we got five rounds there. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. Just goes to show you never know. Just kind of getting the bigger stuff right now. You also want to keep an eye out when the weather changes and it gets like real misty, foggy out. It's time to get someplace safe. Uh, these cars. Blocked out windows, you can't really do anything with them. You can break them into pieces with an axe or whatever and uh, collect some extra metal. Um, if you get stuck and you're out in the woods and uh, the mist is coming in and the zombies, it becomes like nighttime and they're everywhere and they're stronger. So uh, you can always jump up on one of these. Or if you jump just right, you can jump on top of one of those. So we got some stuff there. We started over there. So I kind of wanted to keep moving. What time is it? It's 8.32, so early in the day. There's a... If we see anything over here... Thank you. 
here. Got our first uh, cabin. These typically have at least one zombie. You can tell as you get closer because they're quite noisy. This stuff. Uh, keep an eye on all your health and everything. Make sure it's all good. Now that we have a knife, we're going to go ahead and craft a spear. Figure not a bad thing to have. Uh, we need to. What do we need to make these things? Oh, we need a lot of metal. You can make five across. And we need a bunch of sticks. That's what I was thinking. We can... Uh, there's a stick. Let's see if I can find some sticks. I wanted to make a show you uh, a quick and simple way to get past these. Uh, you see they already had some lights out here, so that's kind of cool. Chopping trees down, grab the bark that falls because you can use that to start fires. So what I'm going to have to do, I guess, is firewood to make wood to make sticks with the branches.
Is nice when you uh, cut trees down, you get branches and Crafting a bunch of sticks here. R or Q when you're crafting something to make it turn. Place item, you use, use your left mouse. If for some reason you didn't want to continue it, you could uh, use your right mouse button. So then you E if you're going to start the build. And as you can see, uh, boom, there's your, uh, there's your gate. I think what I'll do is can make one more. Uh, it's a start. Okay. But see, you can uh, put these up here, and then in this particular case over here, since we can move these things, see I can't get to through here uh, the zombies they can come up behind here but they can't get in uh, same way here I'm hoping uh, they're not too skinny <laughs> maybe we'll Oh, 
I guess that was already chopped down. Jeez. I wonder why it wasn't doing nothing. You need uh, the leaves also, but uh, I haven't grabbed any. It kind of lets you over. And as simple as that. You can easily get over your obstacles. But the zombies can't. So you see that short distance. We got an axe. We got our combat knife. We made a spear. We got a shotgun. A little bit of ammo. And... What you do is, let's say you want to make this your shelter, just uh, open it up and you can say make this your active base. Player can change base shelter by pressing set as base button. When base shelter is changed, the survivors in your camp will be moved to the last position of base shelter. Base shelter active range is 50 meters. So let's uh, make this, as you see it says small house is set as base and it's as simple as that uh, you can also abandon cabins if you just wanted to uh, typically it, the first day or two you get a maybe a an initial base and then from there as you explore farther out uh, as you do more, you gather more, you make more machinery, so to speak, and crafting, uh, so you need more space, so your, your bases, your houses get larger and larger. But as you can see, you can come in here, once you get this stuff, uh, you can make a bed. Uh, we don't really have enough to make a bed right now, but uh, to make a... Uh, you know, like drying racks, cooking pots, grill stand, you name it, uh, water barrels, you see there's two out there. Um, and if I get a truck running, what's kind of nice is you can take the truck, come to this base right here that you used to have, you can literally pick this uh, wall locker up, take it with you. Uh, so, uh, we gotta do something right here with See if uh, you used to be able to put them in front of a window. window so uh, I don't know if you still can do that. So I'm not worried about these. Now, if that was ground level, um, it would be good to 
might get something to fortify from the zombies. We'll take this one. We can't take anything at the moment. But if you like this video, you'd like me to make more, uh, just uh, notate it down below. And I appreciate you watching and uh, give a like to the uh, channel if you'd like to see more content like this. Uh, until next time, take care of yourself. Be safe.